welcome back to my channel. I am dancing. I, I'm dancing for a music festival. What? Chill, bro. Yo, chill, bro. Yo, chill, bro. Yo, chill, bro. <laughs> I need to actually chill. Let me chill. So a few weeks ago, I think this was maybe like last month, I saw this audition post on social media that was like, hey, we're auditioning for a backup dance response for ACL. And if you don't know what ACL is, it's literally like the Lollapalooza of the South. Of the Yeehaw areas, this is our only option to have like a good amount of fun at a music festival that isn't like, Bootsky Toots, I like my blue jeans in a truck and we're gonna truck fuck. It's not that kind of festival. I think it's also like run by the same people who also do all Palooza, but we can do that research later. I actually, I have to look it up. Who organizes Lollapalooza? C3 is a force behind two of the country's top festivals, Austin City Limits and Lollapalooza. I freaking knew it. So technically, I performed with TXT. <laughs> if I performed at ACL, and ACL is run by C3, which also runs Lollapalooza, therefore, I am Yeonjun. <laughs> okay, there was an audition for an artist. Her name is Aria. I decided to go to this audition because it's literally been my dream. And I then get a call to like hang out at this barbecue place. Ew, I look so ugly. I look so ugly. Ew, I look so ugly. Before we go, I wanted to congratulate you on becoming an ACL dancer. Wait, did I? Yeah. Oh my god. Dude. Wait, actually? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the first red flag I didn't trust you. <laughs> oh my god, wait, really? She told she like yes. she was like, I want to look yes. <laughs> I can't put that in. Okay, so I said she wants the little Asian one, but I use a different word for Asian that lots of Asians are called if they are hate crimes. Fill in the blank, comment down below. <laughs> comment down below whatever your hate crime, girls. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how to take a compliment. I don't know how to take it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> such good energy and it was such a good time to like rehearse with them gonna sing gonna dance till i shit my pants <laughs> i'm not nervous at all uh, uh. you all praying on my fall uh. we gonna sing at acl okay. uh, and i'm gonna go to fucking hell oh. hey. 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 <laughs> People were just genuinely so passionate about dancing and making this set good that we were able to just like crank out. No pop. Costumes. Aria. Aria. Okay. <laughs> my camera tripod broke on my car, so guys, this is how I'll be communicating. I just got out of our final rehearsal for ACL tomorrow, and I'm fucking excited. We got all the dance breaks done. Unfortunately, literally every dance break is the last three songs of the of the set, so we'll be like literally tired. But. I don't know, anytime I perform and I dance, like I feel like I feel more um, fulfilled when I, it's kind of a challenge. Like when there's like a slight chance that it could go wrong or like there's a slight chance that I could mess up. If I don't mess up, I feel really good about that. Does that make fucking sense? Now we're heading to our friend's apartment to get ready there to go to the festival tonight. Um, 
and I have to get an application that I have something. I have something that I'm I'm applying for this program that I think would be really fun for like both me and, and you guys. So I just have to get that done. I literally learned about it two days ago. So I'm trying to just like send it with that application to be done. But yeah, okay. So we're heading to ACL. Good ass rehearsal. I will talk to you guys at the festival. Oh yeah. Yes, I was a backup dancer for ACL, but I'm a fanboy first before I am a dancer. <laughs> I'm a fucking fanboy. I'm a fanboy. I will I saw this article today that was called People who are obsessed with people who are obsessed with celebrities may be less intelligent, studies suggest. Hey, in that case, I'm dumb. <laughs> I saw this article and I genuinely was like, Ugh. Jasmine, tell them where we're going. Right. What are we doing we're right going now? To ACL. We we going, we're going to ACL. We're going to ACL. Ariel, Ariel. Okay, we're at ACL. I feel like I'm at ACL. I feel like I'm at ACL. I feel like I'm at Packing all my stuff to make sure I had everything. I was really trying to make sure I was set up for success. I like pre-packed my bags. For some reason, I deep cleaned my apartment. And by now, <laughs> it's already messed. I ended up going to sleep at 3 a.m. I was like prepared. I was like, let's go, let's go. Tomorrow is gonna be the day I live my dreams. I'm so excited. I was like ready to go. I was so ready to be perfect the next day. Good morning. I made a mistake this morning. <laughs> So call time was 7.45 and I got and I woke up at 8.08 but the good thing was call time was our internal call time before going to our actual internal call time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank God. I genuinely felt like I was like back in marching band days. Fuck! My band director's gonna kill me! I like heard my phone vibrating because these Bitches were calling me like multiple times, which was the right thing to do. And I was like, it's either my boss, my or my band director, or my mom. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, today's ACL. But anyways, today's ACL. <laughs> um, we're at the club. <laughs> we're at the club. We're at the club because we're picking up the last backup dancer who works at the club. We're gonna go straight from here to the sure. artist park. Yeah, and get some brekkie. Get some brekkie. Oh, we get like VIP brekkie. Ooh. <laughs> but yeah, okay. ACL, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Why does it say that? So why does the sign say that? Hold on. This is lime green. Just caught in your They're complaining about the avocado toast. See, I would pan sear the toast. I would pan sear the toast. Season it. Season it. And, and then. And then. <laughs> Keep you warm and nice Baby, I still love you And I guess I need it all Can I say that? I just love you Need more sabi I don't know no Can I baby Okay, hi guys I felt so fucking fancy on that girl for bitch. I felt like I was literally like, oh bitch. But everyone's ready. This is Jasmine. Jasmine looks good. Sean looks good. Julie looks good. And we're gonna go warm up now. Get in the zone. Live in the dream. Live in the dream, bitch. Okay, we just finished warm up. I have warm up and stretch. We did a few run throughs of like our, our program and our set. And I think, I think I feel good. Um, there's nothing else left to prepare. We perform in Akeora. Akeora. In Pico Minutos. 
I don't know what that means. Five minutes. Five minutes. In five minutes. But I'm saying uh, it feels like good that we get like the first two songs to kind of dive on the second stage. True. So. Mentally prepared. Everyone give a round of applause for our choreographer. Hi. Jasmine Coro, bitch. Hi. Jasmine Choreo. Jasmine Choreography. Break a leg, guys. Oh. And I think that's why you've been I hope you all perform well. I hope we have good energy. Um, and it's all our first time, right? Yeah. Yep. Team Aria. Aria, we love you. Aria. Aria. <laughs> So quick. After the performance was even more fun, like I met up with my friends. Hello. Oh my god, that was fucking crazy. I was nervous in the beginning, bitch. I, I was on the side, I was like, Jasmine, I forgot it. I forgot it. <laughs> 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 I don't know, I had like a full circle moment. To be able to do my first festival on my home ground was like, was fucking crazy. If you're from Texas or from the South, like you know the rich kids go to ACL. And like, I was not a rich kid. And like, I remember I saw in high school and middle school, like all my friends would be going and I'd be like, fuck, like they got to see Drake, they got to see Nicki Minaj, they got to see all these people, they got to see Khalid. And these were all artists I looked up to and I just didn't have the funds to go, right? I, and that's nothing against my parents, that's something against how I was raised. So the fact that my first time at ACL was as a backup dancer, it's kind of like a testament to like, okay, thanks for being patient, Clarence. It gave me a next level sense of gratitude for my experience going to ACL. So we're done. We said hi to our friends. Um, we're going to get on our shuttle to go back to Artist Village. And then we're gonna, from there, we're gonna eat. More free food. I knew that I, I knew that I wasn't gonna remember anything and I don't remember anything. Like, I think. I'm gonna turn. I hope I see Rina. I wanna see Rina back there. If I see Rina Pasawayama back there, I'm gonna shit myself. Alrighty. To lunch. Hi guys. Okay. So we ate. We got we got a brisket sandwich to share and she took one bite and I ate the rest. I was like, it needed sauce on it. It did need sauce. But and I still then, ate it all. And then I just got me a salad. Guys, Rena Sawayama's fucking dressing room is right there. And then Venus yeah. Williams is literally. And if I turn around the camera, see that woman in the blue? Who is that? That's Venus Williams. Venus fucking Williams, as in the planet and the Olympic tennis player. I saw her in the platinum VIP section and I was like, she's, she she's, her her she's popping off. And I was like, oh, she's such a supportive audience member. Audience? She interviewed Aria and we passed her earlier this morning when we were walking for breakfast. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> she looks fantastic. She would fucking curb stop me though. One flick and I'd be in Oklahoma. But yeah, here is the artist lounge, everyone. I signed up for a, a, um, a haircut. I might get a I know. I got, we, we're given haircuts. Like, what the fuck? Now we're at Rikia. We're both 
was like still I feel like not comprehending what we performed. I like watching it. I know. I'm what like my family sending me Hulu clips, my friends were tagging me in Hulu clips and we're like, what? We got side stage for Coil Array, which is like again. Hey, I'm TXT. I'm Yeonjun. I'm Subin. I am them. I was on stage with Boy Larray. So was Yeonjun. Let's do the math here, guys. Comment down below. Yeonjun, I loved your video. I love subscribing to you, Yeonjun. I'll wait. I'll wait. <laughs> that was my contract with Hive. At dinner, okay, this was actually like crazy. Uh, we finished dinner and we were like getting our bags to like put it with the stores people. In comes this stallion, this beautiful woman who standing, I may be at her left boob. Let me not objectify her like that. I may be at her left side of her chest. <laughs> she was very tall. She was like so good like blah blah because I was with the other two dance with, with a few of the other dancers um you guys made me want to shake my ass like whatever and I was like oh my god I thank you thank you thank you this person that said this to us was <laughs> it was Venus Williams <laughs> guys Venus Williams just told us she just told us that we were good she just told us that we were good <laughs> Icon, American legend. I think I saw a bit. She's an American icon. Shut up. She's a American treasure. She's an American treasure. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Is she driving by? Is she driving by? Oh my god. She liked my freaking dance. She told us that we made her want to shake her ass. I shook Venus Williams' ass. <laughs> fake news. Fake news. <laughs> Bitch, what? Look how pretty this guy is. God is good. <laughs> Guys, I look so focus. stupid in that picture, God damn it. <laughs> I am so sure. <laughs> He's a stallion. Should I post God a picture with cover her head out? <laughs> God, I I promise, guys, I'm 6'2", I swear <laughs> to God. Just Photoshop yourself. Bro, what the fuck? Wait, what the actual fuck? <gasps> the way she came up to us. Hey, hey I'm not like for validation, but I'm love validation. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an attention whore. Are you kidding me? External validation from an Olympic athlete? Um, um, I'll take it. Are you Hello? kidding me? From a, a cultural icon? From <laughs> an athletic icon? From an icon? No, here's how it went. Ready? She was like, oh, you guys did so well. And we went, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, mommy. Yeah. Thanks, mommy. Thank you, mommy. This was embarrassing. I want to be tall so bad. If I was tall, I would be such a piece of shit. I would be so awful. And that's just on full transparency. And that's on, that's on vulnerability. If I was tall, I'd be a piece of shit. done with my performance at ACL which is my first music festival ever that's crazy I don't think it's fully hit me that I performed like I genuinely like did that <laughs> like, I don't know how to say that in a way that doesn't sound stupid but I genuinely did that I feel like I've, I've worked hard to get here and I watched the videos of my performance and there's parts of it that I'm like, oh, I wish I would, would have done this extension better. I wish I would have done this or that better. But genuinely like, hold on. I believe I had a great time on stage and I need to just sit back and be like, damn. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of myself and that. 
I am just very grateful and very I'm reflective on this experience because I feel like it really taught me if I put my mind to it I can make it happen if I put myself out there I can make it happen and so a lot of a lot of learnings today um, and I have so much to journal about for me personally that I want to kind of keep to myself but at the end of the day this experience is once in a lifetime <sighs> what a day genuinely what a day okay i'm gonna go shower and i might face some of my friends because i need to tell them all about it okay i, I smell like shit i really smell bad i can smell myself i smell so bad